Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Rita here, and today is Monday the 9th uh, for you guys to see this, this video. And it's just a craft with me, and I'm going to be working on both journals um, down the rabbit hole uh, journal and uh, for the Taddy Treasures um, design team, and then also the Floral Flourish uh, journal that I'm making. Okay, so um, this is the new um, May setup. Um, I don't know if I showed you that. It's already going to be May 9th, but <clears throat> I just um, decided to to do the numbering mine, um, numbering different than what I did before. Because before I went all of Mondays, all of Tuesdays, and it was a little harder to... I don't know, I kept going back and forth, back and forth. This way, it's Sunday, you know, I mean, I put Sunday so I know to give me an idea of what um, time of the week it is or what day of the week. But I didn't put them on all of them because I didn't want to take up the space. So, I don't know. Anyway, so the first, second, third, fourth, and on. And so I didn't put, like, the days on every one because I can see Friday, that has to be Saturday. So, yeah. And then, um, but I like the kit. It, it's really a pretty, oh, look at this um, page here. And I haven't decorated um, the pages yet. I just put this little guy here and the rabbit um, up here, which, um, because I'm doing the uh, challenge, I thought it was kind of cute to put the rabbit. And there's a pheasant down here. So anyhow, that's what um, is going on right now for today. Um, I also have moved my camera up and um, I am going to use my mat. Um, I noticed in several videos because I've been watching back some of the videos from the um, down the rabbit hole and I'm finding that I'm out of out of camera a lot and I think this definitely helps me because you know I'm working here. Um, and I can try to remember to stay in here. Very seldom I go this close. I do, but I don't realize it that I've done that. So, okay. Anyways, that's the deal. Because I apologize for not being able to see um, what I'm doing. When it, and I looked at some other videos, too, of other people, and they do the same thing. But we have no way of really knowing unless you're watching your camera all the time or some people have it set up where their camera is connected to the iPad um, and they can watch it as they're doing it on the iPad which I haven't figured out how to do that yet but maybe one day okay so this is a, a checkered board checkerboard uh, paper that I cut up already because I was playing with it um, from uh, Tanya's uh, kit uh, down the rabbit hole kit and I, I just love it. I mean this will probably be a standard um, Paper for me, you know how you get something that is just Really great and you use it all the time I have a feeling that this may be one of them because it's it's so graphic but yet it's vintage and it's grungy and it could be You could put daisies on it. You could make it whatever you want. That's my thought anyways Okay, so what I kind of wanted to do was make a specimen card. I've been playing all morning. I never get anything done because I keep playing. Um, and I was trying to think, how can I get, well, I was going to try to put this on. And um, I thought, how can I get a circle in the middle? Because my punch is, um, you know, it's going to stop right here at this edge. And I, I wish there was a way to figure that out. So the best thing I could, the only thing I could figure out, really, if somebody else has an idea, I'd be happy to know it. So I'm going to pretend that this is another uh, journal card that I want to make. I mean, uh, not journal card, but a pocket. Um, so what I did was I took a circle. Well, I punched a circle, and I folded it in half. And I laid it, well, I put the circle, hold on. I folded this. I know this is kind of 
hopefully it's not too backwards. And then I, I put this half circle on here, and then I just drew around this. Okay, so hopefully it's not gonna be kind of oblong because of that. And then I got my punch, and I had to kind of go in this side because it's too thick. But I don't want to crunch it down. I want to be able to open it back up. You see what I'm saying? All right, so then I lined it up, if you can see that. I've lined it up with the line that I marked, and then I'm punching, which this cardstock's pretty heavy stuff. Yeah, I almost. I don't know if I can get it to cut in the same spot again. <clears throat> Didn't. Oh, it scares me that it does that. And then you get a circle, anyways, out of it. Okay, so then I felt like, you know, if it is a little bit of a wrinkle there, you can get it out. It won't be noticeable because everything is grungy, right? So then, um, I'm going to ink this because when I put the acetate in there, I won't be able to ink it after that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. This paper doesn't really need a lot of ink at all. Um, at least this page doesn't anyway. Okay. So then... I'm going to find it. Where'd it go? Oh, you guys. I, I just had it out here so I wouldn't lose it. And I must have shuffled it off somehow. Let me see if I lean back. Oh, I'll have to get another one. Another piece. Darn. A lot of times uh, they just fly off of the, onto the floor. Oh, I thought I felt it on the floor. Anyway, here's my little bag of scraps, because we only need a little scrap. This would have been kind of pretty. It's, um, it shows through there, but I mean, you could use that for something else if you wanted. I like that color with it. Yeah, these are plastic bags. I had a good piece of a car. There's one. Okay, so then uh, back here, I'm gonna glue this down. Now, let's see, I could almost get two. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it's all right, I'm not gonna worry about saving it. So I'm gonna try my glue stick on this because somebody had asked, uh, I think it was Patty. I've got uh, fabric and everything all over this glue stick right now because I was doing some collaging I mean clusters and I was I was gluing everything I'm gonna get a wipe I feel like it's been forever since I've done a video because I had so many of them pre-done I don't know if I if I like doing that or not all right so I think I want to, I'm just trying to debate whether I want to go the glue does dry clear, we know that, but probably went too much. All right, so then I'm going to put this acetate here. If my glue dries the way I think it will, let me get some of the excess. Whoop, I don't want that. I want wet. So I'm going to let that dry. Okay. And then, because if that's, if we don't have to put something behind it, um, we can just glue this onto the page just like that and you can you know maybe your page you can find something cute to show 
so that when you put in a journal card or a tag or whatever you're going to put, it'll show through too. So that way you can maybe pick something that you want to show through there. But I thought this would be cute decorated up too. So, um, yeah, I just, um, I don't have a bunch of stuff out to decorate, but because I don't, I did clusters last night, but none of them are for this particular journal that would work. I have this fish. I love that fish. It's a great barracuda. And it's from Scotland. And um, every time I, I had that and I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, well, it was in my scraps. And that's, um, <laughs> I always went to make a little collage out of that, out of that fish. Okay, so I don't know if I want to put a, what do you call it thing, there. Um, what do you call that? A tab area or whatever. I think I would rather, maybe I'll just use a tag or a journal card that has a tab. Okay, so let's see. Let me, some of this is not glued because I didn't, but yeah, that's, I don't want to lift it too far up. It's gluing everywhere that I put the glue. Let me put some more glue. Um, oh, so I found that I was using the, that little thing there, and I found that this little credit card thing. Well, it's a, it's from the company that I bought this from. So I found that this actually works better to get some of the glue in underneath. down so yeah that works much better okay let me make sure I don't get anything in here all right so we'll see how that glues down in, in a minute I've got this other one too because I thought I'd use two okay so the other um, the other thing I wanted to make is for the other journal. I don't know, I might make them for both journals, but I'm just sharing with you guys what I have. I had this postcard too. Now, if you don't want to bend it in half, this is the other option, which is not as pretty, but I just cut through here, and then I started going around and cutting it. It was easier than trying to punch a hole and go you know in there and mine wasn't quite as straight as I would have liked it but then when you lay it back down that actually closes up almost where you you cannot see it but if you really wanted to make sure that you couldn't see it you could put a piece of washi back here that would I mean I probably would do that anyway and that way it would um, close it up for you. So that's another option to get like this in the middle of, or you know, at one end somewhere other than just right around this, the edge. Okay, this one um, I'm gonna show you how to make. This is not my favorite thing. I didn't really, I just used a piece of scrap paper. So I'm gonna try to find something better. Okay, and so this, um, particular project I saw on Angela Toma or Toma and I will put her she's in my link tree I think uh, but otherwise I will put her um, at and then you just push the at uh, in the description and it will take you right to her um, web her um, channel I didn't do it anything really like she did but I did like the concept that she used 
So that's, um, that's what I'm doing, okay? So what you do is I folded this in half. Uh, yes, I think I did that. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me think. Pretty sure that's what I did. Come on. Oh, I glued it too already and I didn't. Okie dokie. Yes, I, I think I did. I hope. Okay, so you fold it in half. Your whatever size your paper is. And then you fold it this way. We've kind of done this before. And then you open it here and then you're going to slice that up. Let me get my longer scissors. Then we're going to slice up this folded line. Okay. Now, make sure I do this right. This one goes to the back. This one goes up here, but it gets folded up about right there. I would say well, it's about, oh, it's nice to have a ruler handy. Um, well, I did it like, I don't know, seven eighths. No, let me do where I can read better. Um, three quarters, three quarters. All right, and then this one, I fold it up to be about right here three quarters away from that if you want now you can use smaller paper sizes because if I think this is too big let me get my a page out of my book here I think let me get a page that I know is not too small yeah so that's too big so you want to make sure that your um, the width of this is not too wide so since this side has a fold on it, then I would cut this side. So this one measures right now is five and a half. So let's just go to five because that should fit in most journals. And you can pick whatever size you want to pick. So as long as you cut the, the side that's not folded, you're, you're good. Okay. Know if anybody else has done this or not I haven't seen it so this part here is going to be journaling you could journal no we're gonna put paper here we're gonna put a, um, a design paper there and then we'll put a design paper here but this part yes this will be journaling here down on this part because we're using coffee dye paper and then I don't know we'll start working on it and then I'll remember exactly what the deal is she had it so it came like this and then she opened it and she had all the journaling in here too but I I plan to glue this back here and make two pockets so when after I cover this I'll punch a hole and that will make a pocket here and a pocket behind it okay so let's just see what I can do let me ink around this is get that part done now oh, maybe I should have put the paper on first I'll go back and put the paper on uh, this is not gonna have paper on it here now if you want to um, you can slice yours up to this bottom part, if you can figure out where that is. I just went all the way up to the fold because I don't think it's that big of a deal. All right, so let's find what we've got. Paper. All right, so I did some more Morris William paper. 
William Morris paper um, that I thought would look cute with with this um, journal. Let me kind of sh remind you what papers look like. But see this, you know, I think it looks cute with that. Oh, look what I did here. Let me fix it. That's the thing about collage, it like, tends to pop up on you. Come on. Okay. So that's why I thought this might work, this paper. Okay. And these are just scraps. I've zigzagged around the cover. Um, I don't think I showed you that yet, and I was going to um, come back and uh, de start decorating the cover. But this is all glued down with that glue stick, and it is just not coming up. I mean, there's still a few little hairs left here, but yeah, it's, it's worked very well. So let's see, we can't until, well, you can see it once you fold it down. Um, okay, let me get my, uh, here. I hope everybody's um, doing good. It's been a while since I've done a video. I, I plan to, to come in and do a video and I end up messing around so much that I don't get anything done. So, and I, I feel like I'm not yet, I sit in here all day, uh, but I still feel like I didn't accomplish anything. Good. I don't know. I mean, this is just, I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting. Little look. So when it's closed, you're not going to see that much of the paper, but when it is open, you will. And then I guess we could, you know, do some kind of embellishment here. I feel like that's upside down. This is, I'm filming this before Mother's Day, so I don't know how Mother's Day went <laughs> yet. Uh, not yet, I don't. But I hope everybody out there had a good Mother's Day, or I know some are not moms, but I'm sure you're a major influence to somebody some child at one time. You'd be surprised. I think I mentioned that before. What what you can do for a child that is not yours. Just that extra little attention. Okay. Now, I got blue. Let me see if I need Big enough to wash on this. Let me see if I have any other. I don't know what section of the book this will go in either because I have the three sections. That 
I'm going to use for something else. Well, oh, here. Let's see what's under here. I know you can't see me. Oh, this one is this extra page. Oh, it would be nice if there was some blue flowers on that. These are extra. Okay. Because we could... Oh, that would be pretty on, on the front. So let's just do like this. I like yellow and blue together. I'm going to have to ink this, though. So you could journal on this one as well. I can line up my paper too now. Can you see me? you're all enjoying down the rabbit hole uh, kick, um, journal I'm making. I know Tanya went through so much to get it done. Um, I don't think it was an easy task, you know. It, it's a lot of work to get these pages designed and you know, formatted the right sizes and all that. And hope that you're satisfying all the needs to make a journal in your kit. Sometimes some journal designers, I wonder if they ever made a journal because sometimes they're just missing stuff. Okay. I like that. Okay, now, I what I did with this is I don't have a collage page. Um that came from the kit. Let me see. There might be one in here. Okay, so this is um, one of the pages that came in the kit, which is um, all the collage. And um, I didn't have any other papers. And that's the only papers in the kit. The rest of the kit was like ephemera. So um, I used what I thought I could use and not go overboard. So what I decided to do was I took a section here, let's see, where is this section? Hmm. I don't even see it now. Where is this? I'm looking for these flowers and I don't see them. Well, maybe there was another page. And it was a collage too. Anyway, I am, so what I did was I took a section and I blew it up and, and you know, I mean, I, um, what do you call that? Cropped it and kept cropping it until I got a bigger piece of one like this color, like the red. Okay, so and there's lines there because um, the way it worked out, I so I have to put like washi or something there. I don't know why the I have lines there, but oh, I know because this was not the paper. This was a journal card. It was a, I mean, a tag. Let me sh see if I can find what I'm talking about. So what I did was I took one of the tags in her kit and I blew it up. So there was three tags on that page, but I wanted this part. That's what I did. So in case anybody ever wants to do that, 
you know, I don't know, everybody has different printer um, stuff, but I'm trying to think what program. This is just um, my program with Windows 10, so whatever that is. Okay, so I'm trying to think, do I want um, this flower there? I think I do. And then we could put something over here. So I'm going to go down this. And then I saved this, it saved it in my files. Um, in the same kit. I don't, I've never done that before and it just did it. So I'm like, thank you. Thank you for helping me because I am so lost all the time. Okay, so let's ink around this. washi or something to go down that stripe. I might use that black because i am used that in other parts. show through too much. Yeah, it doesn't show through at all. Okay. Let that go all the way up. Alright. Oh, I love this tape. I'm so excited for this. I want to get the green. I'm going to have to go back. And then I'll probably buy a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so now we have this for journaling and this for journaling. And then we are going to have pockets. So the next thing, um, we need to figure out a way to keep these from flopping open. So what she did was uh, she put like a band across here and I tried doing lace. Actually, I, I think I moved mine down a little more. Oh well. Um, I tried to use lace and then just um, put this under it like that, which could be done. But I don't like it's too big. So, hmm, I like that circle. It's all bent. All right. Um, probably just punch a circle out of card. I want to use that cardstock um, that I have left. Do I want to use this one? Hmm. I think this would be cute. So, um, you could pick a line with like words or, or something. Let's see if I can pick this right. Because I kind of kind of liked how she did that part. Okay. A cute little something. Okay, so now if we take this and we put this right here, and we're going to glue both ends so that you can get under it. You might even go like 
push it a little bit. So let me ink this. All right, so I think I'm just gonna use um, Art Glitter Blue to glue both ends. I, we don't have to glue it much at all here. I'm try to center this, so that's five. Let's see, that's about four. So two is about center. Now, see, you can do that with your paper. You can squish it a little bit, and that way it has that little bit of um, oh, um, opening there. So it's not so difficult to slide things under. I don't know, I might have made that a little bit too. Yeah, that's fine there. Okay, now we have to find something to s slide up into that. So, um,. Oh, she used a square, that's right. Ooh, maybe that would be good. Let me try that. Can't remember if I was gonna use this for something. Well, you know what, I can always print more, right? I can always do more. I just, um, let's do this, let's see how this looks. So what she did was she took a square and glued it down here, and this isn't totally square. So let's see if that was it's one and a quarter inch. Okay, one and a one and a quarter. Let's see if we can get. Probably can't see me doing this, right? Can you? All shadowy. Just because we cut off that much. But I don't trust my scissors because. Because it veers off on me, my scissors do. I want to put a little bumblebee or something in the middle of that. <laughs> Oh, you know what would be cute is maybe like a little, I could put a little, well, oh, because that would be hard to write. I was going to say I could put a little eyelet right there and have a charm hanging down. I like that. So that's what she did. She took a square and just, uh, did that and then she did from corner to corner. She glued that under there which gave just enough to keep these pages held up. So let me find, because now I'm in the mood, I want to find something to put um, right there. I can't remember if she had bees or anything in her designs. looking at the little collage part. All right, so let me see. I was hoping something would jump out. There's a bee. <laughs> um, okay. Or even a little flower might, might be nice. It's a little too big, but it looks so nice with that. Um, hmm. I think everything is going to be kind of too big 
I should have um, got this together earlier. Well, this would have been cute to put on a square. Okay. So far, I like that flower. That's the thing I like. I don't know if I have any smaller. You know, I hate to put you guys through this. Looking for stuff. See what Tim holds has. That looks so cool too. I like that. I wonder if I could just leave that. Oh, I could glue this whole thing right here, couldn't I? Yes, I could. Okay. I wasn't thinking about that, that I could actually glue. I was thinking I had to make sure it's set right in the corner. Okay, that doesn't work. Just checking, just checking in case something works. That's cute. There's my bumblebee. All right, I'm gonna glue this Oh, come on, hands. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to glue this down. Now, I have the choice to go with this up here or solid black up there. I think I'm going to go with that. Solid black. This is going to go from corner to corner, the glue. It's a clever idea, these squares, to do this. She is clever. And, you know, if anybody... I think it's um, Angela Toma, T-H-O-M-A. Um, I think it's Dogwood art or dogwood designs something like that but I'll put her link but she has like 700 and some people and I think she I think she does a lot of creative things that um, we can use you know to do something different okay I don't like that I like this and I like this I don't know which ones you guys would like I know it's a floral. Oh, maybe I better stick to the florals. But then that might be too much floral next to that floral. I'm going to do the bee. I have decided. one of those uh, Tim Holtz um, mini packs or whatever. All right. I think I'm going to lift the wings up. I mean, um, oh, all right. So that we have to make sure that that is not glued down. <laughs> not dark enough yet. All right, so then when that's this is glued in the page, this will just lay up like that. Oh, I think that is adorable. Okay, so now, journal here. I don't think I want to put anything there. Something there would be cute. How much time do I have? Not very much. Um... I could just do a little something like that. And um, I 
don't need a word because we have that across the top. So let's. I never use these Tim Holtz things. Uh, did these come apart? No. Um, I'm just going to do that. Just a little something to look at. I forget I have these things. You know, I need to remember that I have them. I don't know how I want it now. But this is first. I'm just going to mark it right there and there. Got to go back and look at that other piece we were doing. Lately, I just can't seem to eyeball straightness. I need a level. I think I have one on my phone or something that levels. Alright, I think I wanted this up here. in the corner here. Okay. Alright, so if I have to do any more in here, I'll do it after because I want to close this up. So, I have decided. I mean, it could be left just like that, right? Maybe I should do that. Because I was thinking it would make a pocket, but again, it This would have to be glued for a pocket. But when I glue it down to the page, okay, let's see. Open that. When I glue it to the page, that'll be that. And then I could put a pocket behind here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to hold off on gluing. If not, if you're going to use it as a pocket, you would just glue down here. That's it. And then that makes, and then when you glue it onto the page, you'll have a pocket right here and one behind. You could put little pockets here too if you wanted. That would be cute. All right, let me go check the other one and see. But I think that would be something, as long as they could still write here. Make, well, I have kind of a sample, but I like this sample better. Okay. Um, and I don't know. I, let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm just looking at the... There's like five. It looks like five-ish. So I don't know if a label would look good down here. But I might. Okay. Let's see, where did my pocket go with the hole in the middle? Oh, where did it go? Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to show you too. I did this. I took an envelope and I folded it in half. This was the first thing I did and I marked it and then I opened it. And so now you could even do an envelope um, 
you know, you can cover the back and then um, do an envelope and leave it like that and then put something in. You could use a bigger punch too. I didn't get all my punches out. Let's see, like this or something. So that's another thing you can do also with, um, with that. Okay, so I think this is glued down well enough that when we put it on here, um, I don't have a journal card handy. Let's just use this. Um, it's not going to get caught. That's why, because I was thinking we'd have to put another page behind it. <clears throat> and if I made another hole, hole in the other page behind it, it would still um, pop up. So if you don't have the glue that I have, then what I would do is take uh, let me find some junkie. I don't even know what this doesn't make any sense to me. So let's um, do that. That's what I would do. Instead of gluing another piece of paper, I would just washi it down because we are using it for a pocket. So a secret message there. Who with the with his fear is put beside something? I don't know. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just gonna put a journal card. I'm gonna decorate this, but I don't know with what yet. Alrighty, guys, I guess that's it. I'm gonna I am out of time. So um let me think here. Was there anything else? I wanted to share, but I guess I can find it and do it in another video. Alrighty, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, go over to Angela's page and uh, take a look, and maybe you'll subscribe. Uh, she did a really cool, um, I've done her things a couple, few times now. I, I enjoy her, and I enjoy the, not everything she makes is my cup of tea, but hey, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea for, for everything, so, but no matter what, you get something. Either it's a tip or you get some idea from watching other people. All right, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.